20 something daughter studies art in college. It was springtime and I asked what she wanted to manifest during an upcoming summer break. So she had a laundry list. Instead of the typical college student home for the summer job, she wanted to work in Italy, learn and experience new things, visit at least six Italian cities, spend one week in Florence since she had friends there, and she wanted to work for the first six weeks of the summer, make a decent wage, then spend the rest of the break at home. So I commended my daughter for her clear vision of what she wanted and reminded her that the universal intelligence would orchestrate the way for her to have her summer dream and have it manifest. She would take care of the what it was that she wanted and a greater consciousness would handle the how. So since my daughter is practiced in the art of thinking and feeling ahead of the actual experience, I merely reminded her to not only set an intention every day with regard to what the summer would look like and feel like and what people she would see, what events would transpire, what places she would visit, but also to feel what it would be like to experience these things. I asked her to recreate the vision in her mind until it was so clear and real that she thought she was thinking became the experience and her brain's synapses began to wire that information as if it was a reality. If she was still being the young woman in the dorm room with a dream of going to Italy, then she was still the same person living the same reality. So while it was still March, she had to begin being that young woman who'd been in Italy for half the summer. No problem, she said. She would had experiences like this before, when she wanted to be in a music video and when she wanted to experience an unlimited shopping spree, both of these transpired in perfect elegance. I then reminded my daughter, you can't get up from your mental creation of this experience as the same person you were when you sat down. You have to get up from your seat as if you just had the most amazing summer of your life. I got it, she said. She understood. <sighs> she understood my reminder that each day she had to change to a new state of being. And after every mental creation, she was to go about her day living in the elevated mood of gratitude generated by having had that experience. So my daughter called a few weeks later. She said, Dad, the university is offering an art history summer course in Italy. I can get the cost of the program and all expenses down from $7,000 to $4,000. Can you help pay for that? Well, it's not that I'm an unsupportive parent, but this didn't strike me as what she had originally stated as her target. She was trying to control the outcome of this possible destiny instead of allowing the quantum field to orchestrate events. I advised her to really inhabit that Italian trip and to think, feel, speak, and dream in Italian until she got lost in that experience. And a few weeks later, when she called again, her excitement was palpable. She had been in the library chatting with her art history teacher and they eventually slipped into speaking Italian. Both spoke the Italian language fluently. At that point, her teacher said, I just remembered. One of my colleagues needs someone to teach level one Italian to some American students who will be studying in Italy this summer. Of course, my daughter was hired. Get this, not only would she be paid to teach, all expenses covered, but she would be in six different cities in Italy for six weeks, spend the last week in Florence and be able to be home for the second half of summer. She manifested her dream job and every aspect of her original vision. This wasn't the case of a young woman pursuing this opportunity with the traditional dogged determination to find a program, searching the internet, hounding professors and so forth. Uh -uh. Instead of following cause and effect, my daughter changed her state of being. 
to, to the extent that she was causing an effect. She was living by the quantum law. Thank you.